Some conventional and social media platforms have carried out reports of a threat by Islamic State of, of West African province, ISWAP, giving ultimatum to residents to vacate the town or face attacks. This informed Governor Zulum to visit Baga, where he held talks with military officials behind closed doors on measures to avoid the threat of attack in Kukawa and other surrounding communities and also to ensure the safety of all citizens. Displacement has not taken place in Borno State for the last four years. And under no circumstances, we shall allow Boko Haram to displace our communities again. So I'm here to discuss the matter with the Nigerian army and then see how we can abort such situation. Other critical issues discussed with the naval commander is the opening up of waterways from Nigerian side to the Republic of Chad to enhance economic activity communities on the Lake Chad Basin while in Baga. The governor also visited farms as part of effort in resuscitating South Chad irrigation scheme by supporting farming communities along the shore of the Lake Chad. The state authorities have already subsidized sales of premium motor spirit to farmers in the area and provided farm input to encourage irrigation farming. Governor Zulum also directed the council to compile a list of farmers in the area to provide support to them. As part of continued livelihood support to resettled community, the governor also presented seven saloon golf cars and 10 units of tricycle to Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers, three golf saloon cars and five units of tricycles to Road Transport Employer Association, while 15 units of tricycle were also presented to Farmers Association. Similarly, members of Fish Seller Association in Baga also received five vehicles to transport their goods to market. The leadership of Benefiting Association, who also received cash support, expressed gratitude to the governor for the continued support to them saying the support will boost the economy in the area. Oluwarotimi Ogunii, reporting for BTV News.